What's going on guys, Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are going to be redoing the Boston Celtics NBA offseason. Now I'm going to tell you guys straight up, man. I think the Boston Celtics actually had a really nice offseason, but there is a few things that I might change myself here just for the sake of being different, but also just to make this team even better than what they really are in real life. Although, I mean, being like first place and getting like all these crazy win streaks, I mean, that's another story. So full, uh, full disclosure, guys, I did put through the trade for Kyrie Irving just because we all know it's 2K. So 2K would not have allowed me to trade away Isaiah Thomas for Kyrie Irving like in real life. Um, you know, I did that trade just because that's something I would do. So I wanted to make sure we could do that for this video. Of course, we still have Al Horford on the team. Uh, Avery Bradley, man, we have Avery Bradley, 82 overall on this team right here. He's on a one-year $8 million contract. Now, I'm going to personally tell you guys this straight up. Unless like a crazy trade happens... I fully intend on keeping Avery Bradley on this team just because I think he's a fantastic player. I mean, he's probably like, when it comes to like cutting to the basket, he is probably like the best at doing that in the NBA as far as like being like a hard cutter and everything like that, just the defense he brings. Uh, him and Kyrie in the backcourt could be crazy. We got Marcus Smart. We got Jalen Brown and Mir Johnson. Uh, we do not have Gordon Hayward yet. I Hopefully, I can sign him on here because I'm going to go for him, of course, but between like contracts and everything, uh, it might not actually happen. Also... I do have the first pick in the NBA draft, guys, because, you know, I did not put through the trade to make it so I trade with the Philadelphia 76ers, because personally, I want that first pick. But what I'm actually thinking about doing with you guys is I think I might trade that first round draft pick, just see what I can get, because I do have a theory of how I want to handle this team going forward. So I'm actually going to give up a first round draft pick and a future first. You know what, man? Do I have two nets? No, because I have the one went to the uh, Cavaliers for Kyrie Irving, of course. So I'm going to do this uh, first, you know, 2017 Nets draft pick. And also toss in another future first and just see what they can get me, guys. See if they can get me like a crazy trade out here. So, Joel and B, Jay Crowder. Uh, Jay Crowder, I have no idea why he's on the 76ers. Uh, he should be on the Cavaliers unless they just made a trade or something like that. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, you got Jabari Parker, Chris Middleton. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Bucker. Buck, I, uh, Jimmy Bucker. That's a weird name. Jimmy Buckets. Uh, Mike Conley. Okay, okay. I mean, some good trades out here, not going to lie. I don't know if I want to give him two first round. Ooh, Paul George. Ooh, DeMarcus Cousins on this team. Well, that'd be nice. Andre Drum would also be nice, too. The thing is, though, is we do have to worry about contracts and anything. If we want to uh, try to get a guy like a uh, like a Gordon Hayward or something like that. I'm just going to do just the first round draft pick here. Just to see if I can still get like similar trades for that. Come on, 2K. Give me something crispy, man. Definitely want like a center, though. Draymond Green, he would be nice on the Celtics. CJ McCollum, we get Andrew Wiggins, Steven Adams, TJ Warren, Marcus Aldridge. DeRozan. Okay, so we could still get DeMarcus Cousins, but we would have to give up Avery Bradley. So that's not the greatest deal ever. Uh, it does save us a lot of money. We probably we would probably be able to go for like a max contract player. Or we could go for a guy like Andre Drummond, who is on a three-year contract. We also get Marcus Morris back, who, of course, is on the Celtics in real life there. Um, you know, a slightly less rated player, 85 overall, but we get to keep Avery Bradley still. I think I like this deal a lot, guys, just because Drummond is going to bring like rebound and everything. It's like this team has so many offensive weapons. We don't absolutely need DeMarcus Cousins on this team anyway. So I think I'm going to go with Andre Drummond, who actually is from the Boston area in real life anyway. So I'm Marcus Smart. Welcome to the team here. Hopefully, man, it was a good trade for us. And honestly, man, I might as well see what I can give her some of my other draft picks too, just to kind of see, right? So we'll do some more first round draft picks here. Maybe even toss in a, uh, who do I want to trade here, man? Do I want to trade Marcus Smart? Not really, to be honest. Um, so actually, let me just see if I can just forget to get, to get for these uh, two picks here. So... Anything, oh, I could get Chris Tops. Oh, wait, never mind, 2K's cheese, and the same, my first pick, I still have it. I do not have that pick anymore. 2K just likes the cheese, guys. All right, well, let's skip the NBA draft, and since we do not really have a draft pick anymore, go straight to rookie signings. I absolutely love Jason Tatum. Like I'm saying, though, guys, I love what the uh, Celtics did in real life. Just trying to be different a little bit, you know, trying to build something different out here. Oh, we got Jared Allen with the second pick in the draft. That's actually a really nice signing for us. Heck, yeah, I'll take him on the team. Okay, team player options, uh, Tyler Zeller, I am not going to accept this option just because that is money freed up. Hopefully, we can get a 40 guy like a Gordon Hayward still. Qualifying offers, Kelly Olenek, I will extend it to him. Might be some good trade uh, offers there too. All right, moratorium period. So, this is where it gets crazy, guys. Gordon Hayward, can we afford him? No, we are negative $26 million. So, uh, pretty much, man, that is a big reason that the Celtics did trade away Avery Bradley is so they could actually afford Gordon Hayward. In this case, man... I don't think I'm going to be able to, like, responsibly be able to, like, free up the chaos space to get Gordon on this team. As much as Celtic fans probably do love him. Um, I feel like what we have is actually pretty good already. Like, Jalen Brown at small four. We already know what type of player he can become in the NBA. And uh, only being the age of 20, like, he could just be our starting small four and that'll be good enough. Avery Bradley still. 
I'm kind of okay with not getting Goran Hayward just for this type of video. I am going to put Al Horford as starting power forward. If you guys did not catch on to that yet, I'm, I assume you guys probably did. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just we don't really need we just don't really need him anymore. I suppose do we got or wait, do we have any bitch ass contracts we can trade away? So that's always a possibility. Uh, looking at the list here, uh, Marcus Morris, I guess that was it was like five million dollars, but not like anything crazy in the long run here. So let's just go for some bench players. Um, so we do have let's go back to trade finder here. Kyrie's our starting point guard, so our starting lineup is pretty much set. Marcus Morris for backup small four. I'm good with that. I would probably like to get a better starting backup or a better uh, backup center. Although Olnig probably could stick around for us too. Marcus Smart probably going to put him at shooting guard, honestly, behind uh, and have Terry Rozier as our starting point guard on this team. So we'll do that real quick. I am kind of curious what I could get for Marcus Smart to trade for. Just because, like, if he's going to be a bench player, if I could get something better, it's like, why wouldn't I go for that? You know what I'm saying? So let's give up Marcus Smart and some future first round draft picks. Just see what that can get us. It's got to be something decent, I would think. Maybe not. What would I actually want, though? I mean, I guess hypothetically, like, a better small forward would be okay if, if it was, like, offered to us. But uh, so far, nothing really all that crazy that I'm on here. This is actually some pretty trash trades, if you're asking me. Like, I honestly probably would maybe. Would I toss an Avery Bradley and get Gordon Hayward down the road? Maybe. But I would not also toss in, like, a Jalen Brown. Nobody like that. All right, not going to worry about that then. Uh, let's go back to the moratorium period. Can I actually, like, is it, does anyone want, like, a low contract? Those are always nice. Probably not, though. Um, what do we got? Some point guards here. Don't really need that. Like I was saying, I guess small forward would be maybe uh, if we could upgrade there. Like Rudy Gay to be a start for the season. He's too much money, though. Kevin Durant, we all know he costs too much. Otto Porter, he's going to get matched no matter what he does either way. Um, Honestly, guys, I think I'm pretty much good with our lineup so far. Like, I might make some trades at the beginning of the season. So, I'm just going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. So, this is where our lineup looks like going into the regular season here. Of course, uh, Kyrie Irving, Avery Bradley, Jalen Brown, Al Horford, and Andre Drummond for our starting five here. I am actually going to switch Marcus Smart over to shooting guard real quick here. See if his rain goes up. It probably does. Yeah, 82 overall for that. Um, going to the trade finder, guys. Like, I want to see where, actually where um, where Gordon Hayward actually went back to. If he went back to the Jazz or a different team. So, yeah. Okay, so he is still on the uh, Utah Jazz. Like, what would they want for him? Yeah, Kyrie Irving and Andre Drummond. No way I could do that. Honestly, like... If it wasn't Kyrie, that's not the worst trade in the world here. I'm going to try to get him back, guys. Let me let, let, let me try this. Let me go to proposed trade. Where is he at? He's probably a ton of money, though. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to free up the uh, space no matter what anyway. Yeah, $29 million. There's, there's no way I can do it, guys. I really do, but I just can't. Besides for that, though, man, any other trades you want to uh, try out here? Trade find. Let's go back to Marcus Smart, maybe. And also toss in some few for future uh, first round draft picks. Now that his rating is a little bit higher, too. And it's the start of the new season. Players are signed, so we might get some other offers sent our way. Uh, Jay Crowder back on the team? No, I don't really want that. Malcolm Brogdon, that's, uh, and we also get Thon Maker on this team. That's actually a pretty decent trade. Just because, like, I know Brogdon's, like, a few points lower. Well, I guess he is, maybe it's not a great trade. I did not know Marcus Smart was only 23 also, but Thon Maker, just from, like, a potential standpoint, uh, it's right there for us. Laurie Markin and Frank Kaminsky for some firepower off the bench. We already have Kelly Olenek, so don't really need, ooh. Yo, D'Angelo Russell on this team? And Zubac, yo Lakers, what are you guys doing, man? I guess if they want to like invest in their future, that makes sense for them. But man, that's I really I might do that trade. I might have to do that trade, man. I've never seen one that good before. I mean, I have, but that's like one of the best I've seen in a while on this game. Yeah, man, yo, give me, give me, uh, give me the man there real quick. Okay, things about to change real quick, I guess, because Delo's going on this team. Welcome to the uh, Boston Celtics. You instantly become a shooting guard. But now, honestly speaking, it's like, now I feel like I don't need to keep Avery Bradley unless I keep him as a backup small forward or a starting small forward on this team, which I guess we could do that. Um, he is only 6'2", but with his, like, defense, it might be okay. Damn, do I want to trade Avery Bradley, though? It's like, I feel like he just, I feel like Belt's, uh, Boston Celtic fans really miss that guy. But let's see what we can get for him, just out of curiosity. Avery Bradley, future first-round draft picks, of course. Come on, 2K, give me a really good small forward. And then Jalen Brown will just come off the bench for us. We're calling Holmes. That's not doing it. Yeah, I think... Oh, Kemba Walker. I really don't need him. Why are these point guards so easy to get on this game? Absolutely crazy. Julius Randle. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, man. Nothing crazy here. Uh, I mean, you know, Miles Turner obviously would be a good player, but we already got our uh, front court pretty much all set. Okay, yeah. I'm not doing it then. I I'm just going to keep Avery Bradley around then, and I'm thinking I'm just going to have him off the bench. Like, have him be a, a really good six man for us. I mean, I know that's not really, like, his calling in life, but to have that man off the bench is only going to make this team even better for us anyway. Our bench unit, guys, is really nice. Let me put old Nick at a power forward real quick, too. Just because I do want him to stretch the floor. It's kind of how I envision him on this team here. Although, in real life, he's on the Miami Heat, of course. But here we go, guys. 
Irving, D'Lo. Oh my God, this is a nice squad, man. We have young players on this team too, which is really good. But yeah, um, yo, what, what were they doing? Trying to put Al Horford on the bench? Come on, man. Come on, 2K, you better than that. Yeah, Avery gonna need about 20, uh, about 25 minutes a game. Jalen Brown will get quite a few. There's gonna be a lot of times where we're gonna run a lot of small ball with this team too, just cause like defensively we are more than capable of doing that. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you think this team is actually better than the current Boston Celtics. If you don't think it is, let me know too, guys. I'm just curious. Uh, but let's go ahead and simulate the season. I'm thinking with this squad right here, we are probably a 53-win team. So let's see just how good we can do. Okay, so we got a record of 63 and 18. So that's a plus 10 win for my prediction of 53 wins. Uh, so this team definitely played a lot better and just more well together than I thought they really would. But yeah, man, first in the Eastern Conference simulate through day against the Brooklyn Nets and actually plus 11 wins on the season. MVP LeBron James on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Lonzo Ball rookie. Ooh, yo, Lonzo on my Detroit Pistons? How did that happen? I mean, I don't think LeVar Ball will allow... I don't know, man. I'm not going to get there, man. Okay, whatever. Reggie Jackson, six man because, of course, Lonzo Ball... Apparently took a starting spot on the team. A defensive player, Sam Whiteside, Jerry Grant, most improved, and Brad Stevens, coach of the year. All NBA first team looking like this. Yo, Kevin Durant on the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, good for you, man. I don't know why 2K, like, they like, they, like made that man's loyalty, like, literally zero on this game. Like, he always is jumping ship. Um, All NBA second team looking like this. How come I don't see a single Boston Celtic? And we are first in the Eastern Conference, 2K. I don't understand that at all, man. Like, Kyrie Irving, where's he at? Okay, player stats on the season. Maybe this will give us a better picture of things. So Kyrie Irving, uh, 22 points, 5 assists. Honestly, not that, I mean, not like it's, that's not like a bad season, but uh, definitely this was not the Kyrie Irving show. This was like the everybody show. Andrew Drummond, about 15 points, 12 rebounds out there. Uh, D'Lo at shooting guard, 15 points, 5, 6 assists himself a game. Uh, Avery Bradley off the bench played fantastic for us, which is why I'm almost kind of okay with that move. Al Horford, you know, got some points, got some rebounds, got some assists out there. Bench unit, I mean, we got Marcus Morris, Kelly Olnick pointing up both 8.8 .8 points per game. So, yeah, damn, even uh, Jalen Brown, 8.5. So, our bench was definitely a big difference maker when it came to this season here. But here we go. First round of the playoffs, we do have the Miami Heat. Simulate current round, see how this goes. And, yeah, got them four games to zero. I am a bit nervous about the Cleveland Cavaliers on here, guys, just because, like, they are always hard to, like, beat out. Uh, looks like Chris Bosh is back in the Miami Heat, so... Okay, good for him, man. Hopefully, you know, we uh, can play through and not get, like, I don't know, killed or something because we all know he has, like, his health issues. Uh, we got Kyrie Irving, 30 points, 20 for D'Lo, 19. We got 14 and 17 for Andre Drummond on this team. Avery Bradley, with 12 points. We all know he brought that defense, even though he shot 3 for 12 out there. Okay, Milwaukee Bucks. Seems like current round. Oh, my God. What? Come on, man. Oh, my God. The Milwaukee Bucks, man, got us again. Four games to one. That's not the team I was even afraid of. Bro. Oh, my God, guys. They don't even got Eric Bledsoe. I understand, guys. The Bucks are a good team, okay? The Bucks are a good team. But come on, man. My Celtics team here that I built, this thing was freaking killer. This was like... I don't know, man. Y'all know in Power Rangers when you got, like, the Megazord and you got, like, the big monster, like, attacking the city, man. Just, like, the city is just helpless. Well, my freaking team was the damn big monster attacking the city. My freaking team is Godzilla. Bitch-ass Godzilla, man. There was just nobody was stopping them. And then apparently the freaking Milwaukee Bucks out there came and sent me back to the river, whatever it was, that Godzilla or the damn monsters from Power Rangers go to. I don't know, man. I didn't watch. I, I watched a lot of Power Rangers growing up, I guess. I watched that a lot of Barney. Two totally different shows. Seemed like playoffs. I guess, I don't know, Godzilla, Barney, though. They're both bitch-ass bitch dinosaurs. Why am I... See, Ronnie, this is why you cannot do this to me, man. Because when you do this, man, my brain becomes discombobulated. And when it becomes discombobulated, I start rambling about bitch-ass stuff that makes no sense. And all of a sudden, it becomes a Barney video and not a 2K video. Oh, well, man. Thank you guys all so much for watching, man. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe. If you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.